good morning students welcome back to my new video in today's video we will start our new chapter that is chapter number 7 subject verb agreement now let's begin our class a sentence is made up of two parts so a sentence have two parts they are subject and verb now what is a subject subject that tells us what the sentence is about it can be either a noun book cars mary etc or a pronoun they she etc it can be either singular or plural it means in a sentence subject wo hota hai jo ki noun ho sakta hai ya fir pronoun ho sakta hai and aapka subject सिंगुलर भी हो सकता है या फिर प्लूरल भी हो सकता है सो ऑल ऑफ यू नो वट इज नाउ नाउ इज ए नेम ऑफ ए पर्सन प्लेस थिंग सो दे ऑल कम्स अंडर नाउ एंड वॉट इज प्रोनाउन प्रोनाउन मोडिफाइज द नाउ एंड द वर्ड्स इन प्रोनाउन आर दे शी ही एक्सेट्रा नाउ वॉट इज वर्ब वर्ब रिप्रेजेंट्स द एक्शन ऑफ अ सेंटेंस is went will place have taken etc so these are all our verbs example verbs are the words which tells about an action or any state so they all comes under verb it means jo aapka ek sentence hota hai aapke sentence mein aapka subject bhi hota hai and aapka verb bhi hota hai so a sentence is made up of two parts so they are subject and verb subject verb agreement ko samajhne ke liye first aapko ye aana chahiye ki subject kya hota hai ek sentence mein subject kya hai verb kya hai then only aap un dono ko acche se match karke ek apna agreement bana sakte hain means subject verb agreement ye chapter is pe base hai ki agar aapka subject singular hai then aapka verb bhi singular hoga but if your subject is plural then your verb will also be plural so these arrangement is called an agreement so how to make the subject and verb agree so now you have to make the subject and verb should agree with each other it means they should match with each other first point identify the subject of the sentence so first you should know how to identify the subject in a sentence ek sentence mein subject kya hai pehle aapko ye aana chahiye identify karne aana chahiye second decide if the subject is singular or plural here in second point you have to decide whether the subject in a sentence is singular ya plural it means jo subject diya gaya hai sentence mein wo singular hai ya plural hai in our previous classes also you have learned what are singular nouns and what are plural nouns and how to convert singular to plural now coming to third point lastly decide which verb form will match with the subject so in the last you have to find out that which form will match with the subject it means subject ke sath aapka verb kaun sa match hoga सो so, ये तीन स्टेप्स आपको फॉलो करने पड़ेंगे इन सब्जेक्ट वर्ब एग्रीमेंट में फर्स्ट स्टेप है आपको आइडेंटिफाई करना है सेंटेंस में सब्जेक्ट क्या है सेकेंड आपको डिसाइड करना है कि सब्जेक्ट आपका सिंगुलर है या प्लूरल है थर्ड आपको मैच करना है कि अगर आपका सब्जेक्ट सिंगुलर हुआ देन आपका वर्ब भी सिंगुलर यूज होगा एंड इफ यू सब्जेक्ट इज प्लूरल देन यू विल यूज प्लूरल वर्ब so it is very simple only few points you have to remember in your mind so now let's begin subject verb agreement subject and verbs must agree with one another in number here number means singular or plural it means subject agar aapka singular hoga then verb bhi singular hoga subject aapka plural hoga then verb bhi aapka plural hoga so number indicates singular or plural here i have written similar subject take singular verbs 
plural subjects take plural verb so it is very important point this is the main point of the chapter so you have to remember these two points now coming to single subjects plus single verbs so now you can see few examples so that it is easy for you to understand how to form single subject with single verb so now you can see here it is written written single subject so the dog chases the cat here you are talking about whom dog so dog is your subject chases chases is your verb and here s is added because here chases is your singular verb and you make singular verb by adding s second the sub the student works hard here you can see the subject is student and works is your verb and in work s is added so here your works is your singular verb third sushan drives to work here your subject is sushan because you are talking about sushan so it is your subject and single verb single verb here is your drives and s is added in drives so it become drives and drives is your singular verb so now you can see in this example there is a single subject with single verb now students moving to plural subject plus plural verbs example the dogs chase the cat here you you can see you are talking about dogs means yahan bahut the sare dogs ke bare mein baat ho rahi hai so aapka subject yahan singular nahi hai ye aapka plural hai because dog mein yahan s add hai so dogs aapka plural hua so plural ke sath aap kaun sa verb use kar rahe hain chase चीज क्या है आपका प्लूरल फॉर्म है एंड जब आप प्लूरल फॉर्म बनाते हैं देन आप एस एड नहीं करते हैं सेकेंड द स्टूडेंट्स वर्क हार्ड हियर यू कैन सी इट इज स्टूडेंट्स एस थर्ड सुशांत एंड करण ड्राइव टू वर्क हियर यू कैन सी देयर इज plural subject because you are talking about two persons that is sushan and karan drive to work so here you can see drive is your plural verb and s is not added in drives because yahan last sentence mein aap do logon ke bare mein baat kar rahe hain do logon ke bare mein baat kare it means ye plural hua because yahan do log hain so यहाँ ड्राइव होगा ड्राइव आपका प्लूरल वर्ब है एंड प्लूरल वर्ब जब आप फॉर्म करते हैं देन यू डो नॉट एड एस इन योर वर्ब नाउ स्टूडेंट्स ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज टेक आउट योर ग्रामर बुक एंड ओपन पेज नंबर फोर्टी थ्री सो नाउ लेट्स सी व्हाट इज गिवन इन योर बुक सब्जेक्ट वर्ब एग्रीमेंट रीड द सेंटेंसेस इन बोथ द कॉलम्स केयरफुली column one column two the boy is driving the car the boys are driving the car here you can see the difference in in these two columns that here in first column there is the boy and is driving the car so here the boy is singular singular subject and here with singular subject you are using is so here this is your singular and in column 2 the boys here you are talking about plural because you are talking about many boys so you are adding here are driving the car so is is added when you are talking about singular person or singular noun then you add is and are is added when you talk about plural when your subject is in plural form then you add आर जब आप बहुत लोगों के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं देन आप आर ऐड करते हैं एंड वेन जब आप सिंगल पर्सन के बारे में बात करते हैं देन यू एड इज सेकेंड आई एम ट्वेल्व ईयर्स ओल्ड द स्टूडेंट्स आर इलेवन ईयर्स ओल्ड ही इज हैप्पी वी आर हैप्पी 
सो हि अगेन यू कैन सी ही इज हैप्पी सो यहाँ एक पर्सन के बारे में बात हुई कि ही इज हैप्पी वेन वी सी वी आर हैप्पी मीन्स हम सब लोग खुश हैं सो ही आर इज एडेड बिकॉज इट इज प्लूरल वी इज योर इन प्लूरल फॉर्म सो इट इज आर विल बी देयर एंड वेन द सब्जेक्ट इज इन सिंगुलर फॉर्म देन इज विल बी देयर फोर्थ द गर्ल स्पीक्स वेल द गर्ल स्पीक वेल शी लाइक्स रीडिंग दे लाइक रीडिंग माई सिस्टर इज टॉल माई सिस्टर्स आर टॉल इन कॉलम ए ऑल द सेंटेंसेस हैव सिंगुलर सब्जेक्ट्स दे आर द बॉय आई ही द गर्ल शी माई सिस्टर द सब्जेक्ट्स आर सिंगुलर इन नंबर देर फोर द वर्ब ऑल्सो बी सिंगुलर सो ना ओनली आई हैव टोल्ड यू अगर आपका सब्जेक्ट सिंगुलर है देन वर्ब भी आपका सिंगुलर ही यूज होगा इन कॉलम टू ऑल द सेंटेंसेस हैव प्लूरल सब्जेक्ट्स द बॉयज द स्टूडेंट्स वी द गर्ल्स दे माय सिस्टर्स द सब्जेक्ट्स आर प्लूरल इन नंबर एंड देर फोर द वर्ब मस्ट ऑल्सो बी प्लूरल सो वेन द सब्जेक्ट इज प्लूरल सो द वर्ब यूज विल बी ऑल्सो प्रूलम सो बहुत सिंपल सा चैप्टर है ये नाउ अ वर्ब मस्ट एग्री विथ इट्स सब्जेक्ट इन नंबर एंड पर्सन सो नाउ हियर इज थ्री कॉलम रिमेंबर सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर ऑल दिस पॉइंट गिवन हियर आई एम हैव आई एम अ गर्ल आई हैव सम इम्पॉर्टेंट वर्क ही she it singular person animal thing so here he she it they all comes under singular whether it can be a name of a person animal or thing so what verb you use is was has verb plus s so when the in a sentence verb is given so you will add s example he is a boy she was happy it has four drawers rakesh takes classes third point you we they so they all comes under plural it can be a name of a person animal or thing सो प्लूरल के क्या क्या वर्ड होते हैं यू वी एंड दे इफ आपका सब्जेक्ट प्लूरल है देन वर्ब्स क्या क्या यूज होंगे सी हियर आर वर हैव रूट फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब विदाउट एस इट मीन्स वर्ब विल बी फॉर्म हियर विदाउट एडिंग एस इन वर्ब यू विल नॉट एड एस हियर एग्जाम्पल you are a good student we were blessed to have you they have taught us the boys are working hard the students study hard black clouds bring rain so now students turn your page page to page number 44 here you can see there are some rules for subject verb agreement so in your book they are given total 10 rules for subject verb agreement it means subject verb agreement mein 10 rules hote hain jo aapko sare rules yaad karne padenge ye rules bahut easy hain so now let's begin with basic rule so jo basic rule hai hum usse start karenge pehle a singular subject he she car betty takes a singular verb is goes runs takes whereas a plural subject takes a plural verb it means single subject hai then aap single verb use karenge agar plural subject hai in that case you will use plural verb example the girls are dancing so here you can see the girls 
you are talking about many girls so here r will come the pen is on the table so you are here you are talking about a single pen so is will come usually the verb is placed near the subject but we have to be careful in the case of the verb if it is far removed from the subject it means usually aisa hota hai ki hamare subject ke baad hi verb likha hota hai but कुछ ऐसे भी केसेस होते हैं जहां आपका वर्ब सब्जेक्ट से थोड़ा दूर लिखा होता है फॉर एग्जांपल, द लिस्ट ऑफ आइटम्स इज वेरी लॉन्ग सो हियर इन दिस यू कैन सी द सब्जेक्ट इन दिस सेंटेंस इज लिस्ट विच इज सिंगुलर देयरफॉर, द वर्ब मस्ट एग्री विद द सब्जेक्ट एंड दस वी हैव यूज इज इट मीन्स सब्जेक्ट हमारे यहाँ सिंगुलर है देन वर्ब भी हम सिंगुलर ही यूज करेंगे स्टडी सम मोर एग्जाम्पल्स द बॉय हु इज वेयरिंग अट इज माई फ्रेंड अ बुक के ऑफ फ्लावर्स वॉज प्रजेंटेड टू हर द कंडीशन ऑफ दीज बुक्स इज नॉट गुड द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द म्यूजिशियंस वॉज नॉट सेटिस्फैक्ट्री लास्ट The ladies wearing green dresses are my sisters. So now we have learned what is the basic rule for subject verb agreement. In our next class we will learn rest all the rules related to subject verb agreement. So now students today's homework is to do exercise number 1. which is given on page number 46 all of you please try to do exercise 1 and write your answers in rough copy in next class we will discuss the answer of that exercise and please don't forget to write your name class with section for your attendance and if you have any doubt regarding any topic or you have not understood any point you can ask me in a comment section below the video i will clear your doubt there so now i will end my class thank you class be happy